Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, it might sound like we're currently in a wave, but we're not. We actually had a glitch happen, it seems like. So there's a an elite zombie sitting down here in the water underneath the windmills. I, I know he's there because he shoots and throws grenades, but I can't get to him or see him to kill him. Uh, maybe we can drop some landmines or, I don't know, shoot some rockets in his general direction and kill him. But for now, we're not going to worry about that. It's hour 9, day 27. But we're getting attacked by more and more zombies that are actually making it to the top now. So we need to get more traps built and we need to get our front guns powered up because we're getting attacked by two giants every other day or so. Uh, the back guns, actually, I need to power them down because they're <laughs> draining power right now. Let me see. What's the quickest way to get back up there? I need to make me like a shortcut somehow to get to the very top or put in their staircase in. I just have not done that yet. During the day, it's not. it doesn't drain hard, but at night it drains. Windmills aren't enough to keep it up, and even when the guns aren't in use, it still drains them, so I'm going to need to get some more batteries right here. I don't know if there's an update or what's going on. Maybe my difficulty level is up higher than it was before, but like I said, they're making it all the way over here. And we rearranged this corner here. I had a pusher that was pushing enemies off the ledge. And then I also had a pendulum. And the pendulum would throw them off the ledge. And it worked fine originally until I put that bridge across the side here. And I'm going to use that to run power to all the other traps and to run power to the front guns. But uh, once I put that in, I guess they fell off or pushed each other off the stairs and fell into the water. Because <laughs> they were like landing on that. And they'd walk through the house and then start running this side. So yeah, that kind of backfired on me. Not too worried about it. Oh, okay. So maybe that's what's going on there. <laughs> They're trying to walk across the side of the bridge. I hadn't seen that yet. I don't know why they're doing that. They, oh, I just... Uh, I guess I'm walking across the bridge now, too. I jump back up. <laughs> that is the weirdest... I've never seen them do that before. They've, ne they've never pathed that way. So I guess that's what's happening. They're pathing on the side of the bridge for some reason. Maybe they think it's a path because I put this bridge in. I don't know. Maybe I need to get, uh, I, I might get rid of this and demo it and run power. I'm trying to think of how we're going to, okay, I guess I can use this to go ahead and run power down this side so I can at least see it. And then we'll demo this bridge and maybe they'll quit trying to walk over here. But yeah, that's, that's the first time. I'm glad I caught that. That's the first time I've ever seen them try to <laughs> walk across an invisible road to get to this. I guess it makes sense. Uh, what we can do too is probably just shut this door and then they shouldn't see that as a path. So maybe they'll go back to their normal route. But I'm scared they're still going to see that pathway. So we're going to have to go ahead and adjust, build this. Maybe I could put gates right here. That could be a, that could be a method. Let's try that. Well, the gate's a little bit big. Maybe we'll just put a door in. All right, so we put two doors in on here. If we keep those shut before the wave hits and we shut the door on the house, they shouldn't see this as a pathway. And I don't really have any reason to go down here during a wave. That's not going to be a big deal, so it's going to shut this one. Maybe that'll stop them from trying to walk across the edge of the bridge on thin air. Like I said, they've never padded that way before, so it's got to be... Uh, they didn't do it until I built this, so that's got to be what's causing it. All right, so like I said, today we need to get some power and some more traps done. Yeah, that's the guy down there in the water shooting at me. <laughs> now, I've tried everything I can to, to try to get to him. Hopefully he doesn't destroy... We're gonna have to get this stuff down here upgraded to metal because if not, he'll eventually destroy it. Because he's just shooting at it because he can't get to us. I mean, it'd be nice if he was just floating in the air or stuck somewhere. Let me see. Let me see if he's actually hurting anything. If he's not hurting anything, it's not a big deal. It looks like everything's okay. But if he destroys the right thing here, it'll actually like most of this can collapse from that. Now I do need to get the power ran. I need to put in some, I don't know, walls or banisters so I can get these farther reaching ones up there using switches and then, then I also need to figure out what batteries are doing what I want to put I want to run at least six batteries to one side over here so I need to build I guess I'll build one more to set here on this chain of batteries so since these aren't doing anything I'll go ahead and just demolish one of these and then let's go into our power we'll set up a new battery right here let me see what side are you on I think that's the right way Alright, so let's get our power connector tool out and figure out which one of these outputs is doing nothing. So it says none, none. Wait, are all these on separate? Are none of these connected? <laughs> I don't understand what I did here. It's been a minute since I touched this, guys. If you noticed, I just finished the whole Valheim series to do the new Mistlands update. It was a lot of fun. It's also why I'm kind of off on building. I keep trying to pull out my hammer, which was always on 8. Okay, so these guys are charging, but I guess there's nothing on them. Nothing there. The front's empty. Could have sworn I would have daisied all these together. Okay, well that's the case. Let's see. We'll use this front corner one. We'll leave open for now. So we'll need its output, I think. Okay, so we've got output going into input. I need to upgrade this guy too before he explodes. There you go. So we're gonna go for the output of this battery to this first input. Then we'll take from that output on this one. And we'll land it on this input. Huh. 
this output and blend it here. Alright, so we should do it like that. It should start seeing this other one charge up. And this is the last battery in the strand, so we'll go from its output all the way up to the new trap we're about to build. So to build this new trap, what do we need? We're gonna need, let me think, where is it at? All right, so we wanna get one of the plasma shockers up. So we're gonna need a VAR resistor, eight more iron plates, a quantum circuit, an engine, a trap machine. <laughs> Nothing major, you know, just, just a few parts. Okay, now that we've got our parts put together, let's go ahead and set one of these. We're gonna put it right here. It's kinda hard to get it positioned based on its input-output points. I feel like it's a guessing game. So we'll set it here, hope for the best. Wait, colliding with other object. What? What are you colliding with? Uh, it looks like it's hitting that stair above us. I guess we'll get rid of it. Alright guys, so it's hitting on this lower stair. I think, I guess I built this closer than my last base's way of building. So we're just gonna press Alt to unlock snapping. We'll set it in here. Looks like the ports are on the right side. Hopefully that's not too far away though. I'd like to get it closer if we can. Let's try to move it a little bit closer. Also don't want to block the path, so we'll try it right there. Like, okay, the ports are still there, that's good. Now these take a ton of power. Let's see, so if I can run through here, this should be fine. And it's as close as we can get it to reach out to touch them. But yeah, so these, takes a, these take a lot, a lot of power. So we're gonna put six batteries on one. I'm gonna run the power up the ramps using the, probably the floor plates or the wall plates, depending if I put them on the side of the bridge or not, like we've been doing. I'm gonna run that up to a switch next to the fire trap switch. And that way we don't have to run it all the time. We're gonna turn it on when there's a big group or we wanna thin the herd some. Besides that, the next thing we need to do is we really need to power up all of our traps because it's the cells are cheap to build, but we don't wanna keep having to recharge everything on this bottom side base because in a minute it's going to reach a point where we're not going to have time to do that but that's got the weight first we need to also get power to those front guns so i don't have to manage the giants or i can at least have some help since they're on both sides like i, I wouldn't advise building on a bridge now <laughs> Uh, not so much just because it's rough, like I technically need to put a whole other build of traps on this front side, just like the this other side, just to keep the herd thin. But because of them falling in the water like this, it uh, makes life a little bit rough. Alright, so what we're going to use for our guns. Right, so these four batteries aren't doing anything, so I can run those to those guns for now, and at least we can get the front side up, and then I'll have to try to get more batteries built down here to handle all the trap loads, and then I'll have to I'm gonna lay them out in such a way that I can tell what goes to what. I'm going to work on that for a second, guys, and we'll be back in just a minute. I'm still working on getting the power up here, but I wanted to make a note while I'm working on the switch that I'm putting in for that. You need to make sure that you upgrade this because like I said, the power draw is so high, it'll actually break this. So let's go ahead and upgrade it. And then we're gonna put it in the deactivate state so that that thing's not turned on as soon as we wire it up. And then we get back to running the power up here. <laughs> so for anybody who hasn't watched a previous video of me building on this or working with power, so the best method to do this uh, to save the most resources is you can me measure out how far you need to go and then cheat back just a little bit. So since we're gonna go down here, let's open this door, and you can see the distance is getting less and less. So we're gonna wanna stop a little early because we have to reach across this gap. So about right here is where we're gonna wanna put the first one, and that's gonna that's a good placement. It'll let us see where we need to put the rest. Uh, we might go so far even to put a wall in here to run the other ones. So now that we know where we're... Wait, how did you get here? <laughs> Okay, so they're still walking across there, so that's not good. Alright, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that and why they started doing it. I'm trying to think how we can try to make them stop. See if I can't float a wall in there, maybe. Easier said than done. We now have the plasma shocker charged up and ready to go. It's on those six batteries there. Now we need to get the front guns charged up and ready. Alright, so we're going to utilize this battery bank here. Get them all daisy chained together so they can charge each other. Huh. 
Right, from there, we need to take the output up here. So I went ahead and demolished the bridge running on the side of this to try to see if that'll stop them from using that path. And what we did, we went straight to the roof this time. So we just tempt in a wall here. I actually need to upgrade this so it doesn't burn down because <laughs> then everything on it will fall apart. And from there, we'll run it over here like we did this one on that switch. And we'll actually put in another switch. So that we can, oh, actually, we're not going to put it in the switch. We're going to put it in a controller. Well, we finally get the power ran to the guns again. So we went ahead and put a wall socket in here. From there, we ran from its output to the input on this controller that we placed here. The reason we put the controller in is to aim only for giants because I don't want to waste a ton of ammo. Uh, later on, we'll probably put a second controller in and we'll add in guns to actually take out the zombies themselves. We'll be using mortars and missile launchers for that. And remember, if you take them apart and move them and put them back up, you're going to have to come back in and select your controls. So here we only want to go for the giant zombies. And then we want to turn it off because the guns and the controller itself will use power the whole time. Now, I know this isn't the prettiest thing in the world. <laughs> We're kind of having to like slap it together the best we can. But we should still be pretty safe. I do need to get some more ammo made because these guns are currently empty. Uh, the plasma shocker is floating in the air a little bit, so we're going to have to play with that and get it figured out. Uh, stuff like that bothers me. <laughs> I know I've got a lot of free floating things below, but uh, yeah, to an extent when I can see it from here, it really bothers me. But uh, yeah, we need to get some ammo made up. And if you place your controllers somewhere where you can't reach them, you can always put a switch going to them and just leave the switch turned on. Like this when I turn off, I'll just run over here if I see giants, turn it on, let it fight. Again, leave room and pathing for the zombies to actually have a way to get to you. Right, so we need to make minigun turret ammo, which I don't remember exactly where that's at. It's probably when you take a break from playing a game for a minute. <laughs> you can't find anything you're looking for. Right, let me see, minigun, there we go, minigun turret ammo. So it takes gunpowder, one gunpowder, one iron ingot. So let's go ahead and make, probably not 38, because you get 15 per craft. If I do 10, that should give me, what, 150? Guess we're just going to make all that we have. <laughs> and then we need to run this out to the guns, load them up. I think the back guns are good. I want to say I moved all the ammo from the front to the back, so they should still have enough. We really, really have to get stuff upgraded, though. We need more guns, more power, or, or more firepower, rather. Probably have plenty, of, like, probably have more than enough power already. I'd really like to get the rail guns up too. I'd like to see how they act. I haven't tried them before. I can only imagine the amount of power draw they're going to have. Okay, so I think that's all of our ammo. So that should be enough to at least weaken them. We'll finish them off with a sniper rifle if we have to. They keep kicking my tank. It keeps getting moved. <laughs> I really need to make it a parking spot where it's actually floating in the air or something. But we should be in great shape now to defend for another night. So we do need to upgrade the trap modifications again. Uh, they're currently sitting at plus five and that's five levels higher than my other ones on my other base that's on day 40 but for some reason these seem to be doing a lot less damage i don't know if maybe these are more spread out maybe i had two on each side instead of just one row but like i said we've got the flamethrowers and we've got these and we've got the plasma shocker so we should be in really good shape I need to check the ammo on these guys really fast he's at 741 and i'm gonna have to find a way to get to this guy 738. So we're probably going to move in this trap controller. I don't like the fact I can't get to my flamethrowers easily. And I'd leave that half wall there. I uh, went over this earlier though, but because it'll force them to shoot in a more straight line. Uh, if you wall your stuff in because you want it to focus in a certain direction, that's the best way to do it. Otherwise, this gun might shoot way over there. That gun might shoot way over here. Then it won't, co it won't cover the straight row of zombies in front of it. And so now we're at hour 20. We've got ammo in our guns. All our traps are loaded. I wanted to get more power out here, so we're going to have to build a lot more of these transformers so that we can branch it down. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I guess I'm going to place everything up here and just not build on top of here. But that means we need to get more batteries built. I want to kind of break it down to an equal number. Right now we have about six batteries running our front traps, which isn't bad. I mean, they are running low, though. But we do have six here, the two flamethrowers, a pendulum. And those are everything that have power on them right now. We still have to do all the floor traps and then we still have to do the rest of these pendulums, the crushers, and I think all these have, nope, they don't all have modifiers on them. I thought they had. 
added modifiers. So we're gonna need a lot more iron, a lot more copper. We just have a long ways to go to get this thing where it's upgraded. Well, the wave's almost here, guys. So what we're gonna do really quick, um, I went ahead and counted these if I did the math right for the traps that still need power right here. We need 34 slots. So we're gonna build some of these transformers. These hold 10 slots each and that way it'll divide the trap power out also. Um, so for that, what we're gonna do, went ahead and grabbed all the parts from the shop. So let's go ahead and build that. So the, uh, my bad, I called it a transformer, the battery eliminator circuit. So let's lay some of these out and we could probably put Put, uh, we'll probably kind of space them out a little bit, but I'd like to keep everything kind of centralized. So what we might do is just build like a box with like a little tower going up. And that way if we start building more traps and paths, we can just build the power up in the center and then work our way up. So let's go ahead and place, uh, yeah, we'll just place, let's see, that's 10, 20. Kind of don't want to put it right there, but I also don't want to have to do a bunch of extra running of power. <laughs> or like I don't want to like run a lot of floor plates either so I guess those the 20 that should cover most of that side and then we can place two down over here yeah I don't plan to put a wall here at least not yet we can always move it later if we need to it's just gonna be kind of rough kind of thing yeah we'll put them side by side that works so that that gives us 40 slots so that should give us six extra now hopefully the wave hits the, the main thing I want to do right now too is I want to test exactly what they're going to do because I want to say I just watched a bunch of bears and crocodiles free float or free walk across this gap that we went over earlier I mean, there's nothing left here for anything to go to where they can get to us. So nothing should try to use this. There's no stairs leading up here to this door anymore. But I'm pretty, like I said, I'm pretty sure I just watched them walk like almost to these stairs and then back over. So we'll test that. Uh, one thing I did make a mistake on in my earlier videos, I had a floor trap right here that shoots the spikes up. Uh, they can't, zombies and stuff can't walk under that. So like, like right here, they can't walk under it. So make sure you leave a gap. So I went ahead and broke that one down. We went ahead and put up some of the cheaper traps. So we've got a pusher there to try to knock them back over here so they restart the run if they get through everything again. A crusher just to slow them down and, and kill a few of the elites as they get through. Then they have to run next to this. We'll probably put walls around these. I just got to measure them out and get them to match up with the height of the trap. Because if we do build another the next layer, we're going to want to match everything. I want to match everything up to the traps. So that, that that'll be the, new, the trap height will be the new floor. The only issue we're going to have is coming to these stairs over here. And here comes the wave now. Let me try to check these walls really fast while I'm right here. Make sure they're repaired. I want to say I repaired everything. Yeah, so we're good there. And then here I tried putting a floor, had a floor trap too, which blocked this. And since we put this in for the shocker, we went ahead and left both of these wide open. So they still have pathing here. So they won't smash through that, hopefully. I think everything looks like it's good. It should be pretty good on health. Yeah, everything's in the 90s. How are we doing on cells? That's the that's the real question. I don't know if I checked the cells this time. Uh, cell charge on this, 97. Oh yeah, we need we need to get some cells. I don't think I... Did I have any on me? I don't think I do. Oh yeah, I do. So let's go ahead and reload these because we're going to need them. So that's what I want to get powered up next. Probably do that in the next video is start getting all these cell floor traps charged up and all the other traps. I don't know why that guy's just standing there and then we'll test out the new shocker in just a minute make sure all this stuff's good to go we can get the other stuff from above so i'm not worried about it um there are there have been a couple of hot fixes since i've made a few videos and that might be where the issues are coming from too they, they've supposedly they made the ai i don't want to uh, yeah we'll close that we'll leave the others open so they can move up and down if they need to if i go that way but yeah they tried fixing a lot of the ai and everything else too hopefully this isn't too loud i'll have to fix it if it is let's get a run up here Check for giants. But how did like I don't even know how that guy got up here. I wonder if he got knocked over because so many zombies are gathered. Some, something's not meshing the way I wanted to. Let me adjust my volume really fast. Okay, so I just turned game volume down so it might change a little bit. Uh, it's just really really loud. And we'll keep an eye out for the the giants. They usually don't come out for a minute. I don't know what just happened with that. He just threw a log and it's ricocheting. So they seem really ha unhappy with everything. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and break that guy off of there before he breaks our stuff. Now these these shockers can take some pretty good damage. So you don't have to stress about them too much unless a couple of them get on it. But the waves gaining in size like they are, we're definitely going to have to uh, pay better attention to doing our repairs. Now then I think, let's see which one. That should still be the flamethrower there. This should be the plasma shocker, which if we need it, we'll activate it. But we'll, we'll activate it one time anyways, just so y'all can check it out. And to make sure it's not going to explode. Because it might blow the batteries or something. Check our back, make sure we don't have giants on the back gate. But like I said, the giants usually show up at hour one. Between hour one and hour two. I feel like the lighting in the game has changed. Looks a lot brighter and a lot smoother. It usually looks fuzzy. I like it. I'm not complaining at all. 
Yeah, some, something's definitely different because I usually can't see this far this clearly. <laughs> so like I said, they've applied several hot fixes. Why is that battery so low? Oh, these must be, these two must run the traps. I'm going to look at this while, we're, while I'm right here. Okay, so you're not, what are you running? Where are you going? What are you doing? Solar panels, okay. And there's nothing on that because its output runs straight to, let's go into the trap control. This should be the battery. I don't think this is, yeah, this isn't even turned on. So I, maybe it's just sitting here drawing power or maybe it didn't have time to recharge. So we're, we definitely need to get some more batteries for these back guns set up. At least these are doing pretty well. But I think these have most of the wind on them too, so they should regenerate even at nighttime. But yeah, we'll go over the, uh, some of the hotfixes probably. that ever, We'll probably go over the, like, the 2023 hotfixes to start the next video. And then we'll get the power ran to the rest of the traps too. So open, oh, yeah, see there's a giant right there. So let's go ahead and run up here. Let me put this away. So we got a giant coming in. Let's hit control here. We'll switch these on. And we should see our guns kick on. Yeah, you can hear them firing in the in the distance and see them firing. So we got two giants right here on the front, and they path really, really weird on this front side of the bridge. Like I said, the bridge has been a learning experience. Uh, things are really different. Now let's check on the back. I want to say I had three giants once already, but I'm not positive. And that's the hard part about this base is that you have to watch both sides. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is I'll probably leave this gate in place maybe, just as like a... a second defense or something and then i'll start building some traps or i might have to, i might have to push the gate out a couple more clicks and then i'll start building some more traps here and then connect those into the second third level that we need to get started over here so we'll like have it like run the side here and then they can come straight up here and start working our way around now let's see if we can't get some pop shots on these giants to help our guns out before they run out of ammo there's definitely a time as you can see because even with this sniper rifle that's like level five yeah, it's a plus five legendary sniper rifle. And the two miniguns, these giants are still taking a beating. But like I said, for some reason, they, they usually don't come straight to the gates. They like to walk around up top. They like to walk around the sides some. And then eventually they start coming this way. Which is good. You're not going to complain about it. It buys us time. I don't know what's up with the firing right now. Like, Maybe they changed something with the way the guns function. It looks like one giant's dead. Unless I just lost sight of him. But I, th I think he dropped in front of this one. Yeah, like right there we just shot fr and froze that guy, but I didn't hear the gunshot go off. And it looks like floating bag. Yeah, so that, something's weird uh, with their, their hotfix. I think it changed some stuff. But hey, it's, it's still progress. It shows that they're working on the game. They're still updating it. Coming out with new features. All right, so our traps are still looking good. Everything's in the 40s and 50s. Let's check the back one more time. Make sure there's nothing sneaking up on us. Oh, I did go ahead and get most of this stuff upgraded to metal too. All we have left to do is the floor up here now. And then this whole building will be metal. On the bright side, ever since we flipped over everything and got rid of that weird corner nothing's made it to us all right so i wanted to activate this one time just to show y'all so we're getting close to the final hour so you can see it comes on like a bat bug zapper and then it drops like that and you see it should just start dropping massive amounts of zombies it just has a really slow charge up period and you only want to use it in my opinion when there's like a lot of a lot of zombies like there's no point in using it right now there's not enough to worry about eventually we'll have to have like those turned on the whole time we'll have to have the flamethrowers on and we'll probably have to put in some work ourselves because this isn't even the worst part of the wave yet remember hour two is when you start getting the last bit of the wave and it's gonna be thick so if once we get these shredders up here upgraded again like they're modifiers that should help a lot and we add modifier to all these and they get all powered up i don't think we're gonna have any issues for maybe until day let's see day 28 probably till day 40 or so again and by then we, i'm hoping to have mortars and stuff set up i haven't figured out exactly how we're gonna do the mortars and everything though because you need them to be able to hit i don't know if they've changed that or not again like i said we'll go hot fixes later uh, i did try it on my main base and they didn't appear to they did not appear to damage any of my buildings because i had them shooting the front gate where all the zombies walk in so i think we'll probably try to squeeze one pointed towards us and mount it like right on top of the gate maybe looking this way so that when they get stuck right here in this gate, it can light them up. And then we might put one on either side of the mini guns. So that when they're in these thick groups walking up, it should start thinning them out on the way. And we'll have to do that on the front and the back. And then for the missile launchers, I'm not really sure how we're going to do those yet. We might go ahead and build up once we get... I want to get the second... I want to get all the power on this and then get this long run on this side. And the long run on this side done with traps. And then we might go ahead and build up the center portion. Leaving room, of course, for crossing over. Like they're going to have to walk, you know, like up this ramp. And then we'll probably have to put some stairs right here for them to go back down. Or no, no, we'll actually we'll have to, how are we going to do this? Yeah, I might have to actually finish this corner here. Build it out one more. Add the stairs here 
to go up. I just really don't want to want them on the building. I guess I can leave it like this and then force them. Though at some point they're gonna get close to the building. Yeah, yeah, we'll probably just we're gonna have to build that out one more section. We'll just let them get close to our building. It'll be fine. And they can walk up here, walk across this, and then we'll build another path around. And that way we leave the like I said, we'll leave the center and just we'll try to make it to where they just circle around us until the day we die. <laughs> and we can just keep building up up and up until you know we reach a max height or we start failing completely. Because that's gonna be the, the game thing too is we're gonna have to get enough defenses up to where if we do get a ton of giants coming in that we can kill them pretty like really really fast because if they get into here and say they smash the entire front portion where the stairs are and that's another reason i want to have a back set of traps that tie into the next level is that way if they if say giants come from this front side they destroy all these steps on the front here that we're currently looking at the pathing will then swap to the back steps so there's two paths up because like right now, like i said every base you want to try to not have one point of failure and our current point of failure is these front are these front staircases and so that's hour two. The wave is ending. I don't know if the music's actually going to stop or not. We'll have to wait for the stragglers to get in here because we still have one guy that we went over earlier in this video. Uh, for me, it's, it's this has been like hours worth of recording, by the way, in case somebody's wondering why I keep repeating myself. I try to cut a lot of it out so you don't have to hear it, but we do have that one guy that's still stuck down here under the, the wind turbines. And actually, I, I recorded the first half of this video four days ago or something. So yeah, I, I forget things. We've been playing at the new Hogwarts Legacy game. So hopefully the stragglers die and we the music goes away and we're good to go. We're going to turn our guns off, start building the power back up on the batteries make sure we're not draining yeah i miss the days when these guys were dying a lot faster <laughs> but uh, i think one of the hot fixes i read was something about the tr some of the traps were reading as if it was a higher difficulty or yeah the, the difficulty challenge setting so they were doing more damage so they might have changed that that might be why i started having issues with them getting through but they didn't even make it to this corner this time so we're back to back to square one we're still holding them here at the front so that's all good i guess it's time to drop down let's see if we have any stragglers i know that was definitely one of the the hot fixes they came out with was to work on the the zombie ai and I feel like almost every game I play, the infected and everybody else, they're all tweaking their AI, making making life hard on us. Now they're making them smarter, guys, so watch out. But usually when they do that, they're going to get dumb for a minute before they get... A lot of times they'll get worse pathing and the way they act, and then all of a sudden you'll come back and they'll just be the smartest things on the planet. I know 7 Days to Die, they did a lot of work on theirs. Yeah, I've, I've played 7 Days to Die. I know a lot of people haven't seen me play it before, uh, but I've played it since it originally came out, so kind of burned out on it. I mean, even with the small changes they make to it, for me it's still pretty much the same game. And we found all the books that we can make use of, except for off the uh, graduation zombies and bookshelves. And I'm still looting buildings because we still need a ton of materials to get everything built the way we need it. And that's another thing I like about this is like all, all the bags stay pretty close together. So getting them all picked up that take long. You definitely want to pick them up because you're going to want the cloth, the research data, the plastic, the gunpowder. Okay, so like on research right now, we currently have 2000 research data roughly. We're at 137 out of 151. Uh, so like we already have the car thief book. Not worried about that. We actually need to grab our book. Uh, here we still need Master Gunsmith. It's just research data we're waiting on for that. And they did do an overhaul of actually building your own weapons. Um, here's the graduation thesis. So we have to find the smart zombies for those. And like I said, they get more and more expensive every time. So this is the two, three is probably four. And then these will probably be five each. Totally worth it though. Uh, we are missing the this jump book too, which says it can be found on a bookshelf. We'll probably find some of these on the graduation zombies, smart zombies as we run around looting. And uh, Thor's lightning, that's stamina usage. That'd be nice to have. But we don't really have anything crazy left to do. So we can pretty much spend our points on whatever we want to. So we'll do these for now. And like I said, so that one's maxed out. This one's maxed out. This one's going to take a while because it's going to be a lot of looting and hunting to find those. Same thing with these two. So we have the research data we have the, everything we need except the books. I think we're going to call the episode there, guys. We should be around the 30-minute mark, I'm hoping, maybe less, uh, by the time we get done editing. And like I said, the next one, we will get on to setting up power for all the four spikes, all these top spikes. We'll get the modifiers built for these two. Like I said, I didn't realize I didn't have all these filled with modifiers. We'll get these other side. We'll work on upgrading those. Probably won't cover the next wave or two unless something crazy happens. Like I, I usually record. I just won't add it on because it's just they take so long to go through. But as always, if you enjoyed this content, be sure to like and subscribe. Actually, we need to come out here and loot these giants. But yeah, as always, be sure to like and subscribe button, guys. You know, drop comments, questions below. Uh, as you can see, I respond pretty quick. But yeah, so if you get any questions or anything, just drop in the comments. I'll help you if I can, if you can give me a good explanation of it. Uh, I do have the Discord link posted on YouTube. So if you want to jump in the Discord, I'll probably respond there faster than I will to YouTube comments. I mean, keep the comments coming, though, because it helps the channel. It's just in there. If you have more questions or something and I can't understand what you're trying to tell me, you can actually share a picture or a video to the Discord and I can uh, see what's up and help you with it.